we have done with our lunch we had a nice quick nap now it's time to move on that's the trail right up you see all these stones that's where we have to go where the steep climb begins ah, not looking down this is two kilometers of straight climb you're gonna have no water in this time so you have to conserve your energy conserve your water as well it's gonna be a very nice workout Oops. these are like the steps made for a giant there's a huge climb and then a flat base, then a huge climb, and then a flat base. Gulliver must have visited here. Each climb, you know, it's approximately 10 to 12 meters high. And then there's a flat ground for another 10 meters. And then equally long climb. It's getting trickier every time. These climbs are tricky. Take a look at this climb. We are actually going uphill. It's a very, very fast, steady climb. And it's even made worse by these dry leaves. Tricky, isn't it? This is one of the most brilliant trek I have ever been into. It has this vertical huge steep climbs and it's covered with dry leaves, roots and whatever not possible. So you have not only your mind running really careful, there is a adrenaline pump that goes into your body because you're going through so much of adventure. At the same time, it gives you such a pleasure that whenever you reach a finish of an obstacle, you have a feeling that you have completed, you know, it's a challenge that you have achieved over it. Spider-Man. After a few hard climbs or a few obstacles, you come to a point where you have an excellent view. You can actually see the opposite peaks and it's massive, I must tell you. It's humongous. Now, we are climbing up this way and I could actually see people getting stuck up in few parts because it is a very tough trail. And uh, for it's a two kilometers now, we are just going to be climbing in almost 85 degrees height. That's a real, real tough, very steep climb. A lot of taunts. This climb, this particular climb, has serious taunts. Take a look at this. I'm loving this strike. First you come out with big boulders and then you have a steep climb and now taunts and you're still climbing. Couldn't have asked for more adventure. Yeah, look at this climb. Whew. It's killing. It's been a kilometer and I've been climbing up. And from down what I saw, I thought it was a two kilometer climb. And now I'm seeing even further. You can see another two kilometers. I really have no idea how, how long this steep climb is gonna be. And it's pretty dangerous as well. Take a look at this. Roots coming out from the, from the trees. It's magical. It's like as if I'm some, some kind of a dream or something. There are people struggling to climb a wall. I'm gonna climb that. As if this climb wasn't enough, I have to go a 90 degree climb now. More fun.
This trail is absolutely fun and full of surprises. It started with huge big boulders and then steep climbs and then a Gulliver's step. Then you have me seeing as a Spider-Man walking up the wall and now you have a cave filled with thorns. These are like humongous, huge, a lot of thorns. And this is a small narrow passage and as you can see, one guy is stuck there. That's what happens if, you, if you're not a little careful. Hmm. I couldn't have asked for any other better trek. I am so happy. Do you see my bliss? Do you see my smile going from my ear to ear? I'm loving it. We literally have to crawl right now to go past this. That is covered by thorns top on the sides. Your back's hurting like crazy, isn't it? You have to stoop and crawl. This trail, I told you, is full of surprises. After that little crawl in the Thorns Cave, you have this nice little path already laid down for us. Oh, it's a mix, beautiful mixture. A perfect trek if you want everything together in one package. Only thing that's missing is probably snow. And I wouldn't be surprised if I find it equally chilly place all the way in the top. Finally, after all those hard, tough obstacles, you're having a nice, smooth trail. There's a lovely breeze coming, soothing you down. So, let's try to cover this nice distance as fast as possible because I'm pretty sure we'll be hitting an obstacle again pretty soon and that will take more time. Now, listen very carefully. You hear those creaking sounds? It's actually made when the wind hits all these bamboo trees and then they rub against each other and this creaking sound comes up and somehow it's very peaceful, very, very soothing to hear it in the middle of the jungle. Mm -hmm. 